night is young. We are young. So, we are going to explore New Orleans. number two and um, today we just touched down in Houston and I know you're probably wondering like why am I sitting in the back seat like what is going on sis um, the airbag at the front is having some issues so I decided not to sit in the front seat because I didn't want it to either dislodge on me which would not be good or um, not come out if someone if we didn't get in a wreck like if someone hit us or something happened like I would hate for it not to come out and work properly so I just decided to sit in the back and, and um, be in the safe zone um, if all fails but um, we left Waco around I want to say we woke up at wait what time did we wake up at 4 30 we woke up at 4 30 a.m. I know I know we woke up at 4 30 a.m. And um, the drive from Waco to Houston is three hours. So I have um, a dentist appointment and I'm getting a root canal repair. I'm in the process of getting a root canal repair. I've done the first part, which is like cleaning the canals all over again and doing all that good stuff. But now um, he's gonna go back in and just kind of make sure that the bacteria has cleared and he's gonna like clear it out and then refill it. And then I'm gonna take an impression to get my crown and had that put on later on but yeah so that's pretty much what's been popping on my side of the corner we are going on a root road trip so that's pretty exciting we wanted to come to Houston to of course get my root canal but to also visit family as well I will fill you guys in later after the procedure um, and clue you guys in on what we have planned for the rest of today Feeling cool, kid, with the sunglasses. <laughs> my mouth is numb. The right side. Oh, my mouth is numb. It's spit. Uh oh. Can she? Is there something she can spit in? just finished the side of my face is like not moving I was telling Yinka I feel like I got Botox even though I've never gotten Botox I assume this is how it feel but um yeah it went really well it was a root canal repair I got my root canal done in Nigeria initially but then in Nigeria when I got it done um he only he only filled in two canals when I had four that were actually infected so then I never went back and got a crown so I'm actually glad I never went back and got the crown because if I got the crown I would have paid like about a thousand dollars for the crown only to realize that there were two more canals that weren't even filled regardless and that would have still caused issues later on in life so I'm so glad that I finally got this handled I currently have two root canals now in my mouth <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm going to um, rest my mouth because I'm literally talking really funny and looking at myself just is like so weird. So I'm going to um, rest my mouth and I will talk to you guys whenever it feels a little better or whenever it goes down. So bye guys. Two days later. Hey guys, so we are on our way to New Orleans and yes, it has literally been two days since I've really recorded. But um, in the past two days, what I basically was doing was um, I let my jaw rest. Um, I had lunch with my dear friend Joyce um, and I said yes to a bridesmaid proposal. Super cool because um, this same friend was a bridesmaid in my wedding. So it's just fun to see how roles are about to be reversed. Yeah, so we are currently in New Orleans right now. We just made it in. It's been raining really, really badly. Like really, really, really badly. So um, all the plans we kind of had aren't really gonna like play out the way we would have thought they were going to, but we're gonna make the best of it. Um, we're just gonna have to make the best of it. I mean, we can't sit and cry about 
spilled milk. We're gonna have a good time, we're gonna enjoy ourselves and just use the rain as an opportunity to just, I guess, find the good in it. Like I was thinking to myself, like maybe God causes rain to cause us humans to slow down and to really just slow down and and reflect. Babe says reflect, I agree. Um, but just to slow down and reflect. So just saying it like that, but also making the best of it. We're excited to eat some really yummy food. And um, we're also going on a dinner cruise tonight. So I'll keep you guys updated and along for the journey. I don't know what's going on here. But um, I will keep you guys updated and along for the journey. And I will see you guys when I check in next time. Have yourself. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Beignet, beignet, all the above. But we're about to go eat there, and then um, after that, we're in gonna check mile, into to park your car near Royal the Street. hotel. You will need to walk to your destination from there. Okay, just gonna do us like that. So we're gonna walk there um, in the rain. It's not really raining too hard anymore, but we're gonna walk there and eat a little sum sum, and then um, yeah, that's what it sounds like we'll be doing. It's a bit of a just made it to the hotel room um Yinka went to go park the car yeah it's a mess it's a whole mess first of all <laughs> um we went to the restaurant cafe beignet to eat breakfast and or lunch because it's basically like lunchtime by now but um went there to eat lunch and there was like no parking so where we initially parked was like illegal parking and they were gonna like either tow our car or give us a $200 fine. So Yink ended up trying to move it to find parking and our food then, we went, so we went in, so ugh, backtrack, okay. So we went inside, ordered our food and then Yinka asked the person at the counter like, hey, is parking at this side of the, you know, store illegal? And they're like, no, it's very illegal. Um, They will tow your car. So Yinka was like, okay, let me go remove the car. So by the time I get out, we were we already ordered our food when he was there. So they delivered our, they delivered our food or they brought our food to the table, and I was like, okay, crap, like babe, your food's here. He's like, oh no, I can't find parking. Like I still can't find parking, and I was like, oh dang. So then I grabbed to go boxes and we just like ate it in the car. Um. So now we are at the hotel, and um. Wait, backtrack again. The food at Cafe Beignet was not all that. It was not worth it. We paid like 25 bucks for those portions you saw, and that's like not worth it at all. The beignets are really, really good. That's the only thing worth going there for, really, honestly, truly. Um, but the food, nah. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. But um, that was basically that. So we just checked in. We are staying at the Sheraton, and um, we have a dinner cruise tonight, so that should be exciting. We're going to get to get... I'm going to get to get all dressed up in terms of like my makeup and my outfit and he'll get dressed up as well and yeah so that's basically just how it's been going on this side of the hood um we're hoping that tonight goes well we've had a long day driving here and um we just kind of need a moment so hopefully we get our moment tonight <laughs> um to just kind of slow down and just take it all in so that's my check-in for now i will check in with you guys later whenever um, we are getting ready or when we're on our way to the dinner cruise. Bye. Um, hey guys, so babe, can I please say something real quick? <laughs> Stop. Listen, please. Okay. All right, so um, plans have changed drastically, kind of a lot. So um, we initially planned to go on the dinner cruise 
and that isn't going to happen anymore. So um, we're kind of just trying to figure out um, what we're going to do now. We wanted to go to this place called City Park, but we changed our mind because it was closed. We changed our, we changed our mind by force, you know, because it was closed. So um, now it's we're just... Rain. Mm -hmm, it's been raining, raining pretty badly in New Orleans, and I don't know what to do, y'all. But we're, like I said, we're making the best of it. Yep. So um, we're hoping to head out and just, tour, you know, kind of like roam the streets of French, French Street, French... French, French, French quarters, quarter. French quarters. So we're open to like just like you know do yeah, some sightseeing on the French quarters. With uh, at no s. With no s. So French quarter. Thanks. French quarter. Thanks, Google. Correct. Uh, right. So we're hoping to do some um, tour, some like sightseeing and some just some touring, and probably going to like check out a restaurant on the French quarter um, area. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I wish we could have done the dinner cruise, but like the reviews weren't looking too good, and I didn't want to like waste so much money on a tour that was just gonna not be like the expectation that we would have hoped it would have been to be, you know. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, make our own fun, create our own fun. And Lou, why are you holding me? Why are you holding my <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and create our own fun. And um, yeah. Oh, babe, tell them the story um, about earlier. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Crystal's super famous. Stop. Super famous. And, but now we're, I was at the parking garage. No, not the parking garage, the parking lot, parking the car. And a young woman is like, that's actually a young woman, her friend. They're like looking at me. I'm like, Y'all looking at no, like, I square up, but no, no, but no, you're they're, too they're, yeah, I am too friendly now. Nah, but old me, nah, boy, bye, anyway, even old you, anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was there, you know, she ended up coming up to me and was like, Hey, is your name Yinka? I'm like, Who asked you? You know, <laughs> I didn't say that, but she said, You know, she asked, Is my name Yinka? and I was like, Yep, that's me. And she was like, yeah, I follow your wife on YouTube. And I was like, of course you do. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Everybody follows my wife on YouTube. No, they don't. But, I don't uh, even have that many subscribers. But, um, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's that's my wife. She was like, oh, I love you guys. I was looking for her, seeing that she come out the car, but then it was just your crusty behind. And <laughs> <laughs> I was so sad. But, no, so she was uh, just happy to have met a connection. Oh, so, and she actually messaged me. Um, she mentioned that you were super friendly, and just kind of wished me um, uh, congratulations for getting married. Mm -hmm. So that was super sweet. So a huge shout out to, to Traylon train. for um, being a friendly face and saying hi. Yeah. We appreciate you, and uh, hopefully I get to see you next time or bump into you, and you don't have to bump into my um, husband. I'm just kidding. He's just as great. <laughs> No, you're you're just as I'm great. Not as cool. No, you are, babe. You are. But um, yeah, yeah. So I mean, like I said, if you are a friendly face, if you're a subscriber, don't be shy. Come say hi. Um, I'm typically really awkward, but I'm super friendly. So once I get past the wait, you know me. Um, we'll be cool. And we'll be we'll be we'll chop it up like we're friends. So because we are friends. But anyways, um, we're gonna head out and see what else there is to do. The night is young, um, and we hope to have some kind of fun tonight. So stay tuned. My outfit is basically this um, oversized top. I found it in my mom's closet. <laughs> it's very vintage. I really don't know where she got it, but we kind of have the same taste. So I just grabbed stuff from her closet. Um, I got these jeans from Fashion Nova. I don't advise shopping there just because of their really, really bad customer service. But um, yeah, they do have cute clothes. And then um, I, these are just some boots that I got from I think Charlotte Russe a couple of years ago. Bolt. We's ready. Come on, babe. going to explore New Orleans. <laughs>
You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, Mike. All right, y'all. Let me enjoy my wife. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Did you have fun, babe? Yeah, we did. I'm more of an adventurer than he is, so like I'll be like, babe, let's go do this. And he's just like, what do you like? What's going on? But it's good though because I need that balance. To yeah, this us. I need that balance. <laughs> so um, it is helpful that I have a marriage to someone who does balance me out because your girl would be out here acting a fool. So no, I wouldn't. I'm kidding. No, I wouldn't. But um. But yeah, so we had fun. We went around um, on the French Quarter and um, Bourbon Street and where else did we go? Yeah, we did a lot. It was fun. But um, and then after that, we just walked like alongside like what was like downtown basically, right? Mm -hmm. We just walked and talked around like the downtown area kind of. Mm -hmm on the French Quarter area. So we just walked and talked. But it was really fun. Um, and we had our little moment and our time together. That was really cool. The food was great. I know you're sleepy, babe. Um, I'm sleepy too. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna wrap this day up here and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> We don't we
a processor. He's, a, he's an in. I got you. I'll talk for five minutes. Anyways, he's an internal processor. If you're an internal processor, comment below. I need to know who y'all are. <laughs> I'm an external processor, so while I'm thinking, I'm like talking out loud. Like I'm just like, do I really want that? Oh no, no, I don't really need that because I really think that I have two of those. And like I talk out loud to process when I'm thinking or feeling, so it just kind of comes out. Sometimes without me even knowing, I talk to myself in public, and I'm not ashamed. It's okay. It happens. Um, but it just helps me process things and and neither way is right or wrong. I think we're just all different So he's more of an internal processor. And I'm more of an external so I can actually be talking to you guys and Processing how I feel about New Orleans. That's kind of how my brain works um, But anyway, let's talk about this pimple on my forehead since it's just wants to be called out so badly um, Usually like people will say oh makeup doesn't give you acne. It does for me sis. It does for me um, so yesterday after the makeup that I put on my face, I had a feeling it was going to like irritate my skin and cause acne. So I already had a little irritation going on up there. It just brought it out. It just brought it out fully blown. So, um, here I am with, um, you know, a beautiful, just distraction on my face, but it's okay. All is well. Um, Okay, back to the internal processor. He's ready, y'all. Oh, just kidding. Um, so yeah, so for me, New Orleans was good. Um, it's definitely somewhere you're gonna want to come for like two to three days. You know, don't stay longer than that because I don't think there's like a lot to do in New Orleans. It's mostly a place where you come and eat and um, just kind of explore the city. It has really, really nice aesthetics. Um, there's not much to do in terms of like tourism. They have like swamp tours and I'm about that swamp life so I passed um, they have a lot of other stuff we wanted to go on a dinner cruise we went ahead and like canceled that because the reviews weren't all that great and we didn't want to pay like hundred and sixty dollars for like not that great quality of service and we just felt like you know it'd be better we'd be better off like exploring bourbon and the French Quarter and all that good stuff so um, I enjoyed it I think I just enjoyed like being out of my normal cities like Houston, Waco, maybe even Dallas, you know, because I'm always like in those cities, you know, so I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, we did get to come to New Orleans and we did get to explore downtown and just walk around late at night being cool, <laughs> uh, old, cool grandpa and grandma people. But anyways, I did enjoy it. Um, we didn't spend a lot of time in New Orleans. We purposely did that. Well, Bay personally purposely wanted to do that. He felt like there was nothing to do in New Orleans. So we took like a day and a half um, in New Orleans, and now we're on our way back to Houston. Babe, you got anything to say? Yeah, um, the New Orleans trip was pretty good. Uh, mostly because I got to spend time with my baby. Oh. Um, French Quarter was cool. It's always a lot popping out there, especially on Bourbon. We kind of walked by Bourbon, and at least I get to say that you know, I've been there. Mm -hmm. um, but it was cool, though. It was a cool little trip. The good city. food. Mm -hmm. um, it was one food. The first place she took us, hey. the eggs, the eggs was not it. But mm -mm. the rest of the place that we ate, though, was fire. Mm -hmm. So shout out to New Orleans for the cuisine. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, that was it. It was a nice little trip, you know, a nice little getaway, uh, explore the city, get to say you've been to New Orleans, and, mm -hmm. uh, and great food. So I would say that's pretty much the summary. Right. Summary of. Right. And why, and why didn't we come to New Orleans when we were dating? Because we didn't want to bounce in baby girl. <laughs> so we didn't come to New Orleans while we were dating um, because we knew. We knew we would leave with a bouncing baby girl or boy. And we didn't want that because we were dating. So instead of people coming to my wedding, they would have came to my baby shower. From Houston to New Orleans is like five to six hours. And from Waco to New Orleans would be like eight hours. Kind of a lot. But we came from Houston, so that's a blessing. Um, we're about three hours out from Houston. What would you say it was? About eight hours from Houston, from Waco? Yeah. Yeah. So about eight hours from Waco, about five out five hours, 
five to six from Houston. Yeah, from five to six from Houston, eight hours from Waco. He would know because he drove all of them. I want to help out, but he's like, no, I'm good, babe. Okay. So just thank you guys so much for staying tuned and um, watching my Vlogmas since I'm not a pro at Vlogmas yet. Yet. I'm not a pro at Vlogmas yet, but I'm glad that you guys are enjoying my vlogs so far. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This may be the last bit of my vlog. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I'm vlogging tomorrow or not, but if I don't vlog um, tomorrow, that this is the end of my vlog. And if I don't, and if I do vlog, you'll see more. And this is just, I'll probably just cut this out or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But anyways, um, if this is the end, I'm going to bid you adieu. And I will see you next time in my next vlog. Bye. For yourself.